John, I want a divorce. Divorce. <laughs> it's not funny, John, and you know it's been coming for a long time. Well, divorce. <laughs> Why do you always laugh when I'm upset? Oh, every time you say divorce, you just look so cute. <laughs> I'm serious this time, John. Serious? I'm absolutely serious. And you're treating this like some kind of game. I'm tired of it, John. We love games. Not anymore. Not your kind of games. Your games are cruel. Divorce. <laughs> Stop laughing. This is not funny. Things haven't been working out for a long time, and every time I try to talk to you about them, you laugh. So I'm not laughing anymore with you, and I'm not playing these games. My lawyer's going to contact yours tomorrow. I'll drop the papers, and that'll be it. We can go our separate ways. No, oh, no, 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 no. Can't go, no. <laughs> Can't go our separate ways. No, no, no. You Can't go our separate laugh. ways. It's just not. It's just not. <laughs> it's not what? Well, you know, I. I don't know. Say what you mean. But it's hard to talk about, you know. <laughs> it's hard for you to talk about anything. I when know, was I know, the last I know. time we had a conversation? Fifteen years, and all I've heard from you is laughter. Every time, I want to be serious. Oh. Well, it, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. You know, I... I think of us as... Oh, I don't know. Okay, two oysters. Two oysters. Raw oysters. <laughs> Oh, and you're the pearl, you're the pearl. And I'm just this oyster that just doesn't ever know how to tell you how much he loves you. So, I go around, the fish chase me, and you laugh, and I don't know, it kind of seems like that's the only way I can tell you how much you mean to me. <laughs> I know you gotta know what I mean, I know. It used to be that you'd look at me and you'd laugh and... That was when we were younger, John. We're not young anymore. You used to be funny. You used to make me laugh. Now you just... use these jokes as a way to stay away from me, to, to, to not tell me how you really feel. So you mean I'm like, um, reruns? Exactly. Well, okay. Let me see. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Here's the way I feel. I remember a Ponderosa episode. I don't know, it was 60, 63. Paul came home. Long day on the range. Hop Singh had not even started cooking dinner. Pa was mad. The boys weren't home. Boys were gonna be mad when they got home. And you know, Pa, he likes to feel responsible. And he said to Hop Singh, he said, Hop Singh, how come you don't even have dinner ready to be put on the table? And Hop Singh said, you never ever thank me for making dinner. Well, Pa was flabbergasted. He thought about it and he was right. He never ever told Hop Singh how much he enjoyed the food that he put on the table for him and the boys. And he said, Hop Sing, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. 
I think you're right. I've never, ever told you how much I appreciated your putting food on the table. But it's not because I don't like your food, and certainly it's not because I don't like to have you cooking the food for me and the boys. So you see, Hop Singh, I'd be lost without you. You're like my shadow in the afternoon when I'm hungry and my shadow's long. You're there right behind me, taking care of me. And you know what? I've never thanked my shadow. 